Hey guys, I'm going to talk about what happens to the EOG in case of uh, Best disease and this Targard's disease. Okay, so basically what you have to understand for this is what happens in Best disease. See, Best disease is a problem with RPE. Okay, so there's a problem in RPE. So in RPE, you know, there are some pumps. Okay, so you have some ion channels as well. So there is a mutation of this protein called Bestrophin. All right. So there is a mutation of this bestrophin because there is a mutation in this gene called, uh, I mean, the gene which is located in this chromosome 11Q, right? Long arm of chromosome 11. So what is this bestrophin basically? It basically codes for some ion channel, all right? Now, what ion channel is this? So this is a calcium sensitive ion channel, chloride channel especially, right? So now for, you have to understand one more thing. What about how is EOG done? So EOG, we place a couple of electrodes, okay? So you place a couple of electrodes here and here and we're going to measure the potential, okay? So we're going to measure the potential. So basically, it measures the difference in potential between the front of the eye and the back of the eye. The front of the eye, you have cornea, back of the eye, you have, we assume it is RPE, okay? So there is a current flow, all right? So this is measured so we're talking about eog still so there is a light on face and there is a light off face okay so that is how you get a light peak and a dark trough so you keep the make the patient dark adapted for a couple of minutes because you know it takes 20 minutes dark adaptation 20 minutes patient sits in the dark is well adapted now you measure the potential and now again make the patient expose the patient to light okay so again he sits for 10 to 15 minutes in light and then again you measure the waveform okay the potential so you've got a light peak and a dark trough so that's how that's why we get a light peak and a dark trough is that clear now you take a ratio you get a adens ratio now why does this light peak occur the light peak occurs basically there's depolarization in the rpe now you know the depolarization right Toying like that yes so now that means the rpe is becoming more positive how can it become more positive this calcium from within the rpe goes out through what through this calcium sensitive chloride channel is that clear so the moment the light is on the calcium increases okay and the intracellular calcium increases and this stimulates that chloride channel opens up that chloride channel so the chloride kind of exits the rp it goes out of the rp okay on the other side now when it goes out of the rpe now what happens inside the rp it becomes on the positive side so it becomes depolarized now what do you think will happen if there is a mutation in this bestrophic gene which is coding for this particular chloride channel the chloride is ions are not going to go out you will not have depolarization the light peak will not happen or maybe it may be very blunt so we have a ratio, correct? Light peak by dark trough. So obviously that ratio will come down, correct? You got it? So now you know how EOG is affected in best disease. Clear? Now let's come to this ERG. See ERG, the main wave is this B wave because of bipolar cells. And bipolar cells work if there is rods and cones activity, correct? Only then you've got bipolar cell activity. And ERG is, it's something like, you know, like a summation of whatever is happening all over the retina, right, ERG, unless you're talking about multifocal ERG, which is concentrating only on the macula, whereas your EOG is exclusively that potential of the RPE at the macula. So it's more sensitive for your best disease, where actually the problem is in the chloride channel, Whereas in ERG, RPE contributes that small wave, C wave, which is, I mean, it comes later, right? So the main waves are your B wave and of course your A wave also, but the main wave is B wave. So by the time it reflects in ERG, yeah, it's going to take a very long time. So best disease occurs, I mean, or it causes changes in the EOG very, very early and it's very sensitive, correct? before ERG changes can actually occur, right? So ERG doesn't even come into play here. Now, what about star guards? Now, star guards, if you see, there is a mutation of an APCA4 gene, okay? 
APCA is ATP binding cassette protein. All right. So that is on the chromosome number one. Now, because of this and this APCA4 is on the outer segments of your rods and cones. All right. So if it is on the rods and cones, it's going to affect ERG. Right. But the only thing is it affects it during the later stages, not in the initial stages. So you've got stages of um, the various stages in star guts. So actually in the very, very early stage, sometimes even the visual acuity is not really affected. But then the visual acuity starts getting affected. You don't see anything on the fundus. Then you think the patient is malingering. And then later during the advanced stages, this lipofusin that gets accumulated, it kind of, uh, you know, it creates a mess with all the cells in the retina. Starting from the RPE, it also affects the uh, rods and cones. All right. So the ERG changes in changes come in later in star cuts. It, it does not mean it does not occur. It occurs. But later during star guts disease that's the only thing okay so star guts the findings depend on the stage that you're seeing so in early stages very very early stages erg is normal and in the next stage like what we call as stage two actually when you're talking about stage two yes we do have subnormal responses when you're talking about particular responses or what we call as flicker response in the erg okay so there's a lot more in erg which for you right now it's not needed so in that it is decreased see the overall waveform maybe you know it is um uh, the dark adapted waveform is normal but when you talk about flicker ERGs it, there will be some subnormality and in later stages advanced stages there's definitely definitely ERG changes is that clear I hope I've made myself clear so just get the concepts right you don't have to mug up anything okay so once you get a hang of what or how we do EOG then I think uh, concepts become much easier and um, you know yeah, easier. Okay, right.